In this video, I'm going to take a look at three different wrestling series that were only released in Japan. And first, I'm going to look at the Astral Bout series. These games are essentially mixed martial arts fighting games. They don't really fall in the category of professional wrestling, but I'm going to look at them anyway. So on this one, you pick your character based on what fighting style you want. You can choose from kickboxing, professional wrestling, boxing, judo, karate, and several other fighting styles. And of course, depending on which character you pick, their maneuvers differ greatly. Some characters are great at landing punches, kicks, grapples, or maneuvers unique to their fighting style. You can defeat your opponent using submissions, KO from a 10 count, or a TKO from losing all energy. The action in the game is a little slow, and the presentation of the game looks like an early Sega Genesis title, but it's still a pretty entertaining game, I really enjoyed this one. But like I said, I found the game interesting, but I can completely understand if other people don't enjoy it. And moving on, I'm going to take a look at the second one in the series, Astral Bout 2. So this game was released in 1994, which is two years after the original. They took the game in a new direction this time around. Visually, it's a huge improvement, but unfortunately, everything else is worse. Now, a major problem with this game is, the characters can only attack forward. So if an enemy goes above or below them, you can't hit them. The AI uses this by walking above you and going back and left so you can't hit them. And they do this pretty often and it's very annoying. And doing grapple maneuvers on them is just far more difficult than ever. It seems like the only effective fighting style is trying to keep your distance using long range attacks. And it gets rather tedious like this. This game just has a lot of other problems in it as well. I just recommend you skip it. And moving on, I'm going to look at the last game in this series, Astral Bout 3. Now this one came out a year later in 1995, and it's quite a bit like the last release, however it fixes a lot of the problems, adds new features, and just makes it an all around better game. You can now attack your opponent when they're above and below you, the AI does not block as much, and it's much easier to perform grapple maneuvers. The game also runs faster, and you have some new, more effective attacks. For example, pressing down forward kick with some characters can do a flying karate kick that really causes some damage. And the characters can even perform combo maneuvers this time around. And also a major problem in part 2, when you're locked into a submission, you have to get to the left or right rope to get out of it. On this release, you just have to get to any ropes in the ring to break out of a submission. So I enjoyed this one. It's a pretty good MMA style fighting game, and it's also something a little different than we usually get. So between the three Astro Bout games, Part 1 and 3 are pretty enjoyable games for their time, however Part 2 is just a piece of garbage. Moving on, I'm going to take a look at the Shin Nippon Pro Wrestling series, which is popular amongst fans of Japanese wrestling games. The series uses the New Japan Pro Wrestling license, and this original one was released in 1993. When this game came out, there were definitely some more enjoyable games that came out that year and before it, however it's still not that bad. The game has 10 playable characters and each have their own set of moves. Just so you guys know, most Japanese wrestling games use a time based grappling system, just like Fire Pro Wrestling. So when you lock into a grapple in this game, you don't button mash, you just press the button once at the right time. Now the character sprites don't look half bad in this game, however the characters only have a couple of moves and the animation is really choppy. And there's no ground submissions in this game, you can only attack your opponent on the floor. So this game doesn't offer too much, and after a few battles, it gets kind of old. Moving on, I'm going to take a look at the sequel, Shin Nippon Pro Wrestling 94. This game is very different from the original, and it takes the series into a nice direction. The game has 20 characters, each of course with their own unique fighting style. Visually the game looks a lot different, in fact it looks a lot like Super Double Dragon now. So some great improvements in the grappling system are you have a lot more to do, and you can even perform them from behind. You can also perform ground submissions now, which is definitely an important aspect for wrestling games. So the game runs better, we don't have that choppy animation, the controls more responsive, it's really just better in every way. Some problems with this game though, when you start a round, the characters have these long ass introductions that you can't skip, it really hurts the game for me. The action in this game is also still a little slow. When you see those characters running, it's almost like they're barely moving. So it's definitely a better experience than the last one. However, I still wouldn't recommend it. 
Moving on, I'm going to take a look at the next and last one in the series, Shin Nippon Pro Wrestling 95. This one is really a lot the same as the last one, however it fixes some of those major problems and makes it an all around better game. This game once again features 20 characters, which is still plenty in my opinion. This game has cool short entrances, unlike part 2 which had those long ass drawn out ones you couldn't even skip. Now something you're definitely going to notice from the get go is this game is a lot faster. In fact it seemed too fast for me at first, but really what happened is I was just so used to the other games being so slow. The controls themselves also feel very much the same. One new aspect you're going to find in this one though, they added a block button, which is very similar to the block button in the Fire Pro Wrestling games. So all in all they made a much more gratifying wrestling game here, and if you're a fan of Fire Pro Wrestling, I think you're going to enjoy this one as well. Now the Super Fire Pro Wrestling games do offer a lot more, but this is an entertaining alternative. And moving on, I'm going to look at the Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling series, which used the All Japan Pro Wrestling license. And like I mentioned in one of the other videos, this game was actually used to make Natsum Championship Wrestling here in America. The Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling was also on the Game Boy, and it's hands down one of the best wrestling games you're going to find on the Game Boy. Fortunately, it's even better on the Super Nintendo. So this game has 16 different characters, each with their own unique fighting style. The grappling system in this game once again is based on timing, just like the Fire Pro Wrestling games. The AI in the Zen Nippon games is fairly easy, you can pretty much just keep doing the same grapples over and over again until you get the win. Moving on, I'm going to take a look at the next one, Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling Dash. Now I have no idea why they even bothered releasing this. It's really the same game, it was even released the same year. I think this game has a little more emphasis on tag mode, however that was an option on the original release as well. So that's all I really have to say about this one, it's pretty much the same game, I don't understand why they released it again. And moving on, I'm going to take a look at the next release, which really isn't that much different either, Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling 2, 3, 4 Budokan. So this game was released in 1995, which is a two year gap from the other games, yet it's not that much different at all. So visually, as you can see, the game looks very much the same, in fact, it's even recycling character sprites. You might notice they added some cameraman in the background there, and occasionally the ring shakes. Doesn't quite justify a sequel in my book. Either way, it's still a very entertaining game, and if you want to try any of them, it might as well just be this one. Lastly, I'm going to take a look at Zen Nippon Pro Wrestling, Fight Dupon, which really isn't a part of the series, this is an RPG made by the same people. So something I definitely know about this game, if you want to play it, you better know Japanese. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Well this was 3 of 4, one more video to go. I'll be touching on the more obscure games in the last video. Until then you guys take it easy.